we have figured out how to build an entire quantum computer on a chip. When I talk about a chip, this is an example of our chip. Here today in Westchester at the headquarters of Seek, the only company in the world building quantum computers on chips. John Levy, CEO and co-founder, is going to show us around. John, I'm allowed one dumb question per interview. <laughs> What is quantum computing? First off, let's contrast it with the computing that we know, classical computing. Classical computing is based on zeros and ones, everything being binary or digital. In quantum computing, it's much more based on principles of nature. Nature is made up of subatomic particles, atoms, molecules, etc. Imagine for a moment that you could make an artificial atom and use that as your form of computation. If you had to sum it up in just one line, what, what is the work here at Seek? This is a quantum computer controlling five qubits. This is the rack of room temperature electronics you need to control those qubits. Imagine that was a million qubits you were trying to control. Think about all the equipment you would need, all the energy, and we put that all down onto a chip. What does that kind of efficiency unlock for, for these ships and for the companies that apply them? Well, I mean, we know what's happening with data centers today with AI, for instance, where we need nuclear power stations to run AI data centers. And because of that, we can imagine that scaled quantum data centers in the future are going to have a similar energy profile. Our technology would enable you to build a scaled quantum data center that we could power with tens of kilowatts, something you could do in a small office building. Let's check out the fabrication lab. We have um, a whole set of tools that we, that's what we refer to these as, that enable us to make the kind of chips that we showed you. We start off with a, a blank silicon wafer and we run it through say an eight to 10 level process and when we're all set and done, this would be a finished product. Each level consists of depositing a material, whether it be a metal or an insulator, then taking that blanket film, bringing it back to what we call photolithography area, and you're taking this image from this mask and you're putting this image onto that wafer. Then the third step of the process will bring it back over to this area where we remove the material and you're left with this image on your wafer, a working circuit. This is a one-stop shop. Everything is happening under this one roof. Yeah, and it's a huge advantage to be able to do that because it means that we can make everything we do happen a lot faster. And given the fact that we're creating these really innovative digital chips for quantum computers, we want to compress our design cycles as to as you know short a time as possible. Mm -hmm.